driving requires a great deal of sensory input before we're able to decide, hey, I should really turn now to avoid that cone. We first have to realize that there is in fact a cone directly in front of us. Drivers are able to make sense of their surroundings using their senses, like sight, sound, feel, smell, taste. Okay, how you use taste to drive, I'm not entirely sure, but, or smell for that matter. Anyway, autonomous cars are not blessed with the sensory organs of their human counterparts, so I guess my real question today is, how do autonomous cars make sense? So what makes autonomous possible? Well, the short answer to that question is sensors. So ultrasonic sensors produce sound waves that produce echoes after hitting an object. The distance between the location of the sensor and the obstacle is found simply by multiplying the speed of sound by half the total time from transmitter to receiver. So ultrasonic sensors have a limited range due to the attenuation of ultrasounds in the air as well as the low propagation speed. Ultrasonic sensors are very suitable, however, for automated parking and adaptive cruise control in low-speed urban environments. Judging depths and distances, much like our own eyesight, stereo cameras use odometry to create 3D vision. Image sensors are able to make sense of what they see by comparing the similarities in each frame. Image sensors are necessary because they possess the unique ability to see colors, fonts, and traffic signals. Image sensors are far from perfect, however, <gasps> only recognizing pedestrians about 95% of the time. Oops. Radar sensors send out electromagnetic waves that hit obstacles and reflect back, indicating a neighboring object's relative speed and distance. Radar is robust against several environmental conditions and has a range up to several hundred meters. LiDAR sensors utilize low-intensity, non-visible light beams to scan three-dimensional environments. Newer LiDAR sensors contain multiple lasers that each produce short pulses. Spinning mirrors direct these beams out into the surroundings. Half of the elapsed time, multiplied by the speed of light, gives us the distance of the object. Gathering millions of data points, LiDAR sensors can produce 3D images with remarkably high resolution. While the culmination of data from these different types of sensors replace the driver's own sensing, it's the cloud of autonomous vehicles that could really make these cars intelligent. The cloud would create a dynamic electronic network, generating real-time map data with constant traffic updates. Traffic science signals could potentially communicate directly with the vehicle. Cloud data would allow autonomous vehicles to see well into the future, making autonomous traffic extremely efficient and streamlined in areas that are densely populated with autonomous vehicles. With the employment of the cloud and various sensors, autonomous cars can actually make a lot of sense. Few advancements have had greater implications for the future of automobiles and transportation than the creation of the autonomous car.